Hey guys, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So if you guys have seen uh, a couple of my very early videos, I did a couple kind of uh, athletic wear, kind of clothing review and try on. Uh, and I did one with Amazon leggings and like affordable leggings. So uh, one Amazon company actually reached out to me and offered to send me some athletic wear that I could review for you guys. I've had a couple of their leggings before uh, and I did like them. I thought they fit very well and they were flattering. So all of these opinions, all of my reviews are my own. I'm not being paid to make this video. I'm not being paid uh, to give a review, but they did send me some things to try on. Uh, so we'll, let's dig right in and go through some of the stuff that they sent me uh, and then I'll try it on and then test it out for you guys and let you know how it goes. Um, so I'm just going to put all the names of these on the screen once I figure out um, what everything is. It looks like there are some skirts and shorts in here, so I didn't know that they were coming out with skirts, so this will be interesting to go run and work out in. So this first thing is Ball Leaf Women's Active Skort Running Tennis Golf Workout Skirt with Pockets Black Slash Pink. This is actually kind of like a, a black, slippery, kind of dense athletic polyester fabric. So this has like a, a little flap over here in the front. Um, you'll see it better during the try-on, but I'm pretty sure that this is my size, which is good. Um, this also says UPF uh, 50 for sunblock, so that's pretty nice, especially here in Southern California, UVA, UVB, UVA, UVB sun protection. So when I saw a skirt, I got a little nervous, but I think this might actually fit pretty well and feel pretty well on. So item number one. So this actually fits really well. So this I would say is definitely my size. So these might actually run a little small because I'm normally an extra small um, in leggings recently. The last you know year or so I think I've bought mostly extra small. Um, but I did wear a size small in the bay leaf leggings. So if you have anything from this brand already, uh, it would be, I think, the same size as what you ordered before. Uh, but if you're new to this brand, it might run a little bit small, so you might want to get uh, a size up. So the sh skirt is just a tiny bit longer than the shorts, actually, which I think is kind of perfect. So this is about the length, I think, of my normal running shorts. Uh, and it's like a nice, light, slick fabric. And again, the branding's really subtle, just a little bit on the hip there, which uh, is what I like. But this actually fits really well. This is really cute. Item number two is the Bayleaf Women's Athletic. Oh, the lot. It was so long they cut it off. Short sleeve, black size, small. So, okay, this is gonna be a top that we could try on with it. This actually looks pretty big for a small. Um, so it's a black athletic wear t-shirt. All it has is the Bayleaf logo up there on the top, so it's Nice and subtle, like it's a little bit more minimal, which I kind of like. Um, this looks like it's going to be kind of big for me, a little wide, uh, but I'll try it on with the skirt and see how it looks. But it's kind of like that thick, slick um, polyester. It's not like the material itself isn't too thick. It's like a, a denser weave. You know, I thought this black t-shirt was going to be a little bit too big, but it actually fits uh, mm, not that bad, so it actually fits the shoulders, I would say, in the upper body. There's a little bit of, a little bit more extra fabric around the middle than I would normally choose to wear, but if that's the style fit that you like. So it's, you know, it's kind of like a boxy fit. It's definitely not supposed to be uh, form-fitting, but if you like a looser t-shirt, I would say I'm normally a small in tops just because my shoulders are a little bit broader uh, for the rest of my frame. So I would say the top is pretty true to size as long as you're going for kind of that looser fit. You know, it's definitely not meant to be a fitted shirt. This next one, the line is also, the <laughs> name is too long to fit on the thing. Um, pockets, white, size, small. Let's see if this is a, what fell out, what fell out? I don't know what that is. Oh, the zipper. Okay, it feels kind of like the same fabric as the pair of shorts at the beginning. So it has a little drawstring inside the waist, actually, which is nice, so you'd be able to tighten it. 
Um, this one doesn't say anything about sun protection, so I don't think this one has the same sun protection as the other one did. Uh, but this looks like it'll be pretty cute. So I think this is the golf skirt. This actually feels really nice, but it's not loose. It's definitely my size, but it's kind of comfortable. It's not compressive. Uh, it does have a drawstring here inside if you need to tighten up the waist at all. And there are pockets on the side of the shorts underneath. So I think, yeah, there's a pocket on each side of these like nice mesh shorts. Super thin, lightweight, and breathable. Perfect fit, I think, on the shorts underneath. And then this skirt on top, I think, is really flattering. This last black one doesn't have a seam at the top, but it has this whole thing as one thick elastic band. So it's not technically uh, a seam at the top, it's just a nice thick elastic band. This one has a seam at the top, and it's not as compressive here. There's no elastic band, uh, except for this little drawstring inside here. Oh, here's a pair of shorts. So these are a pair of purple, size small. These are probably the seven inch shorts. So, oh, these actually have a lot of pockets. So these have a side pocket on each leg and a little pocket on the back. The branding is pretty subtle again, just like with the other ones. It just has the logo a little bit uh, at the back there and it has the little leaf down on the front. Here are the seven inch purple shorts. So these I think are pretty comfortable. I almost feel like they're definitely not high rise. They feel like they sit a little bit too low in the back. I keep trying to pull them up, um, but there's not enough fabric there. So I almost feel like these need a little bit more space in the back, but they're very comfortable. So they're not, not very compressive and not very thick. They're kind of that thin, slick, uh, slippery athletic material. I'll have to go check in my bathroom mirror if these are squat proof. <laughs> so these do have a seam at the top. These are definitely like a, a low to mid rise. They're not uh, super tight. This is definitely my size again. These fit I think pretty similarly to the size of the leggings. If you're somebody who wants athletic shorts that are a little bit longer and kind of prevent your thighs from rubbing together or give you a little bit more coverage, these would be good so there's two things left. Both of them are white, lots of white things. Okay, here's a pair of white shorts. So I have never had a pair of white shorts before. Um, this one has the pocket on the back, just like the purple pair, but no pockets on the side. And I think these are the four inch shorts. They're obviously not as long. But you know, I'm open to trying white shorts. I've never had white shorts. They make me a little nervous, um, but we'll see how they look on. These I feel like come up far enough in the back. They do have a pocket in the back here. I feel like they come up far enough where I'm not tugging them up in the back. They have the same seam at the waist, uh, just like the purple ones. There are no pockets on the side, just this little pocket in the back, kind of like the little uh, pouch pocket, not a zipper, just a little flap. And they are not double lined. It's just one layer of fabric, but it's a pretty thick white layer of fabric, but it is not double lined. It's just one layer here. So they're not very compressive. They have like a nice snug fit at the waist. The small is definitely my true size. Um, but these I think are actually like a very, a very good fit. And then our last item, these golf workout white size small. So it's going to be something else white. Okay, this must be the golf skirt then because this one's a little bit longer. This one, does it have any pockets on the inside? Ooh, this has like mesh shorts on the inside. So the mesh shorts inside this golf skirt. Ooh, there are pockets on the side of the mesh short on the inside. Last bottom was the last white skirt that we opened, much, much longer. Still fits really similarly at the waist to the others. The small is definitely my true size. Same elastic at the top, not very compressive, like about a three inch waistband. Nice, a little bit longer, like a longer length, if that's something that makes you more comfortable. It still has the white mesh shorts underneath with a pocket on each side. No pocket at the back, just the pocket at the sides. It has the same drawstring waistband as the last one, and there's also a little pocket here uh, at the waist, a little pouch pocket if you need uh, another pocket for anything. 
So the purple shorts, I wasn't sure if they would be squat proof, but they actually seemed okay when I uh, checked them in the mirror in the bathroom and, you know, natural lighting. Um, this is natural lighting too. I just have a window here. I don't have any like strong, harsh ring lights or anything like that. Um, so I think the purple shorts are actually pretty good, like maybe like a 7 out of 10. The white shorts are like a 1 out of 10. Uh, I think probably because they're not double lined. But obviously all of the, the skirts uh, are fine because they have the shorts built in underneath uh, the skirt overlay on top. So it's actually the next day. Something else uh, came in the mail from Bayleaf, from Bayleaf um, after the first shipment. So this came in a separate package by itself, these gray kind of running shorts. So these have the two front pockets here and they have the built-in lining. Uh, they're super light and thin. They're like a nice lightweight silky fabric. Uh, so I'll try these on real quick too uh, and see how they fit. These are also uh, a size small just like everything else that I got. So I'll be right back. So these aren't uh, a great cut for my kind of body shape. They almost feel like they fit fine in the waist. This is definitely my size. The waistband's comfortable. Uh, but I almost feel like there's not enough stretch. There's not enough space in the leg. And there's a lot of extra fabric in the front here. So like, especially if I like bend over forward a little bit, you can see there's just a lot of like extra space here and it all gets caught kind of on my leg because there's not a lot of there's like a little stretch but it just sits uh kind of gets caught on my quads they are pretty comfortable i like the fabric i like that it has pockets like this although you can't use these pockets if you're going to work out um if you're going to work out in shorts like this because whatever you put in the pockets will get in the way bad i almost feel like they're guy shorts like i almost feel like these are cut more for a guy, somebody with like, you know, thinner legs and like maybe somebody who needs a little bit more space here than I do. Um, I might actually try to get Luis to try these on uh, and see what he thinks. I have another pair of shorts in this style that fit a lot better. I kind of want to show for comparison. So let me grab those real quick. So these are actually a pair of Under Armour shorts in the same style as the Bayleaf ones. Um, meaning they just have, you know, the elastic waistband, they have the pockets here. Uh, but these, I think, fit me much better. They have more space in the legs, so there's a lot more room uh, here, especially... Like, this is even less stretchy than the Bayleaf one, but I think that just because there's a little bit more space, they feel a lot more comfortable, and they feel like they fit... They feel like they fit much better. All right. It is a few days later. This video is taking me way longer than I thought it would. Um, I just got back from a two hour hike. Um, I did wear the new t-shirt uh, because I did take my hike, or I took my pack. Usually if I'm gonna be out uh, on the trails for more than like an hour and 15, hour and a half, I'll take my pack. Um, and I like to wear a t-shirt since it helps prevent some of the chafing up here. Hold on, the traffic's a little loud. Let me shut the door. So the shirt was great. It was just, you know, it's kind of like a, a normal tech shirt. It did its job. So if you need like some affordable activewear that's like that nice, uh, smooth, slick athletic wear material, like this is a pretty good brand to use. So this is 90% polyester, 10% spandex, the t-shirt. Um, I think a lot of the bottoms are the same. They have the same kind of fabric, same kind of feel. So hopefully if you're looking for some new kind of affordable activewear and you like to shop on Amazon like I do, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, I did get a small and everything like I think I said earlier. I think I'm a pretty true size small or I think I should be a size small. A lot of times I'll wear an extra small um, in leggings on the bottom but that's mostly like high waisted stuff that I want to make sure will that will be tight at the waist. If you're in between sizes, like if you sometimes wear an extra small, sometimes wear a small um, I'd probably go with the small, so I'd probably go up half a size if you're in between. Um, but if you're regularly a small, I would just get that, and I think they would fit pretty well. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. Um, I do have a lot of videos that I have planned, that I'm working on, that I want to do. Um, things have just been so busy with work and school the last few weeks, I haven't been getting as much filming and editing done as I want. Hopefully that will get better after next week. I'm actually defending my dissertation, so I'm getting my PhD next week. 
hopefully the week after next, I can get a lot of filming done that I've been kind of, you know, I have the ideas I've been writing out that I'm needing to film. Uh, hopefully I can get to those soon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.